What's up guys? I'm back with the part two. Well, before I get started, I want to say that I spent a lot of time with my cousin. She graduated sometime before that traumatic event happened. Now, I also have to say my cousin is amazing. She is on the Mavid squad and <laughs> she was around a lot of people her age. My brother had to be cared for, and myself, well, I didn't make a whole lot of friends growing up. And the, I can talk to people, but I was really much of a shy person. Y'all really didn't really talk to too many people at first. For as long as I can remember, I always loved movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, mostly action stuff. I guess that's how I spent my past time with my grandparents and my cousin. My cousin's doing really good. She went to get a nursing. went to college for that so she's doing really good taking care of people I'm guessing that's her way of keeping his memory alive me myself well I continue to go to school and try to make as much friends as I could Sometimes I didn't fit in, sometimes I get caught up for being silly or stupid or just weird, which kind of Sometimes, sometimes it gets to me, sometimes it doesn't. I was fortunate enough to meet a lot of unique people during school that I gradually talked to more. All the way up to high school. And some people were people from church and, and others were from school. I went to plenty of places and did <laughs> plenty of things to keep me occupied. I guess I wouldn't really didn't have much of a goal for my life during the time. Well, I thought about was finishing high school and that was it. Well, like I said before in my other video I had a lot of crushes and back then I didn't know how to talk to people well <laughs> especially ladies yeah. but I've gotten a lot more well, I guess I never stopped from trying some the friends that I have for everyone I managed to be friends with, um, just words can't say how fortunate I am to have met them. Some of my friends are, I feel like they're actually are my brothers and sisters in high school when I was able to make those relationships and connections with other people and it really made me feel good inside knowing that I was there for them. I don't know how they feel about me but for me they were one of the many reasons why to continue life in different places and 
did different things, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much teased throughout school and really didn't like, didn't really care for school that much. I wish I could have had a more fun and exciting life. Well, my life's already fun and exciting, but I wish it could have been a lot, a lot more than it actually was. But for what I have, I will not take that for granted. My friends and my family are the reason, one of the many reasons why my life's so unique and interesting. Ever since 2002, I always felt like I was. I was always by myself and sure I had my family and I didn't feel any love from anyone. I guess yeah you could say my grandparents and mom and such but I didn't feel it from other, other people. I always felt like I felt like I had a place in the world. Like if I can just do a lot by myself, I would feel better about about myself and just if I could be able to do a lot of good things in my life that the loneliness and sadness would go away. The fact that my mom and dad were divorced and my older my only brother no longer there. I couldn't figure out I didn't know what to do or where to go as far as my life I mean sure I may be cheerful and energetic and stuff but I didn't feel like I was being loved I didn't feel like I was loved or I didn't feel like I was happy. I just wished that I could have done so much more and stop feeling these, stop having these feelings. My family and the friends I met have really helped me with getting through that and also because my grandmother was babysitting she babies she was taking care of kids as long as I can remember and as long as she can remember well anyway there were a couple kids um, Elijah and Zaya they're little kids and this was back in 2005 where I didn't really know them. And I got to know them more around 2006. Around the time 2002 to 2006, I was into video games. That's how I was getting into video games. I, that helped me through a lot of things. Anyway, I got to know Elijah and, and Zaya. I got to know them. I got to know their mom in you know, 2007. I guess I will stop here and continue talking about this in part three.